Welcome to a What's New video of WorkNC 2019 R1. We will be introducing the Z-Level finishing pattern of the Parallel Finishing Toolpath and its highlights. The Parallel Finishing Toolpath utilizes the Advanced Tool Form functionality of WorkNC. This allows barrel, oval, lens, and other non-standard tooling to be used. The Parallel Finishing Toolpath now offers both the planar and the Z-level pattern from within one toolpath. Depending on the pattern chosen, the resulting style is added to the text of the toolpath name. WorkNC 2019 R1 introduces a min and max slope angle. This allows the toolpath to be created only where needed. This is available for both the planar and the Z-level pattern. The cutter used for this example is a barrel cutter from Hitachi. Hitachi provides data in the min and max slope angles for both the Z-level and the planar pattern. The areas highlighted in green are those we will tackle with the Z-Level pattern. As you can see, with the min and max slope limits, the toolpath is generated only where needed. To avoid unnecessary retracts, a transition move is created between closed passes. The option to choose by zone or by level is now made available with 2019 R1. WorkNC 2019 R1 also introduces the machine wall basis option. This option allows the toolpath to create an additional pass at the base of walls. Thank you for watching this What's New video for 2019 R1. Please browse YouTube or WorkNC.com for additional What's New videos as well as many other WorkNC videos. For information on the Advanced Tool Form module, please contact your local salesman.